Brandon Party, thanks Brandon for the question. Uh, Brandon Party wrote in to ask, what will your first private members bill be? Well, there's, it's an interesting question. Um, there is one private members bill that I will have in the 41st Parliament which has a chance to be voted on. Right. Right. So, uh, and I want, I'm not quite sure if Brandon's question is assuming that you can get all the private members bills voted on or not. I will be submitting private members bills in the same way that I submit petitions to draw attention to issues like right. the, the peril to sharks around the world from shark fin soup and how we should be dealing with that. I'll be submitting bills that deal with the climate issue. I'll be submitting bill, bills that deal with a whole range of issues that if I know if they came to a vote, I don't think the Harper Conservatives would vote with me, so that bill would not be passed. So which one is the first one that you're, you're going to introduce that can be voted on? Have you decided yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking very closely at trying to get the Conservatives to support a bill to deal with Lyme disease. A lot of Canadians are dealing with a very debilitating, and for most many physicians across the country, a very mysterious ailment. Quite often people's initial diagnosis is wrong. They're sent away, they're told it's in their head, or they're told it might be MS, so they don't get the treatment they need. So I've asked the Library Department Research Group, which is fantastic, to help me figure out what's the federal level of what could be done on this in terms of an additional focus from, the, from Health Canada. Sure. And something around that I think I could get. I, I doubt that there's a member of Parliament right now, given how prevalent Lyme disease appears to be. And by the way, there is a climate connection. We're seeing more Lyme because ticks are moving further north and we're getting right. Lyme disease in the Canadian population more than we used to. I think that it's very likely that I could get the support of enough Conservatives to pass something that will help people in their constituency. And I hope it's sufficiently non-controversial that I can get it passed. Yeah, because I, I mean non-polarizing, right? Exactly.